watch it, man. Abu American Co watch.com. Get over there. Abu American Science Shop. Denny Guide. <sighs> Look at this household. All sorts of other stuff. Get over there and check it out. So, you know, I'm just, I have to go through this whole security thing every day. I just came to a realization. It's like, you know, there's this, there's this whole behavior. receive authority. And I'm not I'm not crapping on the security guys here. They're they're good stuff. But I, it's just something I noticed in general. And it's like a lot of people when you put security in place, they automatically just comply. Why is this thing wiggling around so much? Um they automatically just comply in a way which is not required. And um you know something clicked just all of a sudden just I've always had this resistance to authority, not just from an art, you know, anarchist type of position, like, you know, oh, it's authority, resist. No, it's just like something, I'll give you an example from Germany. In Germany, people love to say no. Germans love to tell you no. Anybody who lives in Germany will tell you, but German gets a chance to say no. He has an option to say yes, or he has an option to say no. Both of them are have results which are inconsequential to him. Meaning if he says yes, eh, his life goes on normal, nothing changes for him. He says no, his life goes on, nothing changes for him. He'll say no out of principle because they just have the authority to say no. So I've noticed that like a lot of these positions somehow, I don't know if people develop personalities to act like, you know, this this no type of, you know, like I'm an authoritarian type of person uh, with the position or is it just in them and those jobs attract those people. I tend to lead towards, you know, the idea that people get in these positions, they get used to people being cordial and polite, you know, and acting like and treating them like they're people of authority and therefore, you know, uh, people automatically defer, defer to these people. You know, and I'm not, again, I'm not crapping on anybody, your security guard, whatever else, hey, you know, your police officer, cool. But because of that automatic deferral, it gives them an automatic, like, sense of authority and power that whether real or not, whether it should be there or not, is, you know, a different discussion. Now, I've always had kind of a resistance to that because I'm just like, you know, who are you people? You know, like, who are you to tell me no? And so even when it comes to Germans and they tell me no, I never accept no as an answer, which is the point of this video. It's like, you know, be, and I heard this recently, and this would cause the click, was be more disagreeable, you know? Um, and it just it just clicked, you know, um, when, when I heard that be more disagreeable. I think it was Joe Rogan talking to Jordan Peterson. And, um, cause it just popped up somewhere on one of my feeds, you know? And, um, yeah, just, just, you know, really claim, like, I don't want to sound goofy, but it sounds goofy. I'm just going to say it. Just claim your power, man. It's like, don't let, you know, walk around this earth. Don't walk around the earth like you own it. Walk around the earth like it doesn't own you. You know, because we need more of that. You know, we, we see this right now with all these, you know, compliance rules and everybody expecting you to comply and act in a certain way and do this and do that and take this and take that because we say so. And there's really nothing they can do if you say no. Not really. You know, if you just, if you move with authority, there's nothing they can do. I'll give you an example. I worked in Qatar. I worked at a school. And the school was a compound, wasn't a compound. Obviously, there's kids there. And so, you know, they protected the compound. and had security. And I used to go out for lunch. And so when I was going outside of the compound for lunch, the security guard was like, you can't leave. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, yeah, teachers can't leave. Like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm an adult. You know, I'm a teacher. This is my job. It's not a prison. I'm going to get some food. No, no, you have to, you have to stay here. You have to bring your food or you have to eat in the cafeteria. I was like, I was like, who's going to stop me if I just walk out this gate? I said, you think you're going to stop me? I just kind of walked up on him like, what are you going to do? He was like, okay, sir, then I must report. I said, report it to who you want. I said, call him right now. I said, get on your little microphone. Call whoever you need to call right now. Go ahead, call him. Of course he didn't. And maybe it was the school policy. But it's just like, you know, 
and I've, I've noticed that I've dealt with like this type of behavior from people in these positions, you know, again, not crapping on them, but it's just been a consistent thing. And the only reason why they pull this stuff is because they get away with it because nobody calls them on it. You know, we want to talk about a masculinity, man. Just be more disagreeable, not for the sake of being disagreeable. But just, you know, this is where logic and rationale always takes over. You have to always stop and think like, you know, okay, this guy just told me no. Example from guys in Germany and telling me no. It happens a lot. No, 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 we can't do that. Okay. All right, well, can we do this? No, 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 we can't do this. Can we do this? No. I was like, okay, you told me everything we can't do. I brought you solutions. I didn't bring you problems. I brought you solutions. And be that type of person. Don't be just someone brings a problem, dumps it on another person's lap. Kind of, you know, I'm in a management position. And I hate that. Don't, don't give me a bunch of problems. You can give me, nah, actually, I don't care. <laughs> but it's just something I learned in the military. Commander said, don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. So I was like, okay, you told me what we can't do. What can we do? Because I, I know it can be done. So how can we do it? And then they always have an answer. I'm like, okay, we're, let's do that. So be disagreeable. Don't take no for an answer. Okay, you told me no, what can we do? There's a way to get what I want done. Maybe you can't help me. And if they wanna be, you know, even imply that they're incompetent if they're just being resistant. Cause some people just resist just because they're in a position to resist. And so imply incompetence. Say, okay, well maybe you just don't know what to do. Maybe you don't have the competency. Who do I go to? Do you have a boss? Do you have a colleague who knows how to do something that you don't know how to do? You know, put it back on their plate. But just be more disagreeable in general. You know, if, if, believe it or not, it makes the world a better place. <laughs> anyway, I don't. There's no real point to this, but it is part of like masculinity to be more disagreeable. I'm not saying be a jerk, but you know, don't let people get away with being jerks.